Hello, everybody. Welcome to City Labs' sixth project showcase and, of course, our first virtual event. Hoping that people are, are uh, able to join us here on the stage and see, um, see our, our sort of welcome message today. Um, just want to give people a moment. It's so exciting to see people trickling in. It looks like we have 109 people so far today. Um, great. So I'll uh, just get started with a bit of a, a short welcome message today. Um, I really want to welcome particularly our students from McMaster University, from Mohawk College, Redeemer University as well. Um, we also have city staff from all different departments across the city, um, as well as, as faculty members and, of course, members of the community. Um, I'd also like to give a special welcome to Mayor Fred Eisenberger, Councillor uh, Maureen Wilson from Ward 1, and Councillor John Paul Danko from Ward 8. Thank you so much for joining us live today. It's great to have you on board with us. Um, also, a special walk, or, um, a thank you for our, your colleagues on council who've been uh, supporters of our, of our program for the last three and a half years. Um, you know, as this is a, a digital event, it's a little bit different. Uh, of course, we're used to it by now, but I think it's even more important to, to recognize and acknowledge the sort of physical place of Hamilton, um, which is situated on the traditional territories of the Erie, Neutral, Huron, Wendat, Haudenosaunee, and Mississauga people. Um, and of course, we have people tuning in from, from all over uh, GTA, from Ontario, from across Canada um, today. Um, but we're, we're Hamilton based fundamentally. And I want to specifically recognize the land and the responsibilities we have to reconciliation and decolonization in this place. Now, I'd like you to close your eyes and, and imagine for a second that we're at uh, our, our last in person project showcase, which took place in December 2019. So it's our, at our classroom beside City Hall. Uh, big busy room, um, about a similar similar amount of people, 100, 150 people there. Um, lots of handshakes, lots of food, lots of talking, loud talking, moist talking. Um, you know, it's a it's a classic COVID nightmare. Uh, we would be a super spreader event if we did that for sure. Um, and you know, as I was giving a similar welcome address last year, our microphone just broke, so I had to jump on a chair um, and I had to start yelling at people. Um, so I was thinking about that and how that's basically the sort of real life analog equivalent of, of being on being muted on your Zoom call, right? So we had technical difficulties beforehand. We're going to have technical difficulties uh, now and in this time, and they'll be a little, of a little bit of a different nature, uh, but hopefully we can cross our fingers and all will go well. Um, you know, this, this switch to digital showcase and of course all the programming for us has been a, a huge challenge. Um, and we, we know it has been for you as well with your work and your studies and of course your lives. Um, at the beginning of the pandemic, for me personally, I wasn't, you know, super comfortable with making video calls and, you know, do I have to download something first? Do I have to mute myself? Do I, what's that weird audio gap? Can I wear my sweatpants? These are all, you know, really important questions that we had to figure out collectively. Um, and now, of course, it's sort of second nature to, to log into class on Zoom, to schedule back-to-back -back Teams meetings. And unfortunately, if you're a city employee, you know, to endure using WebEx, sorry, IT, um, but we found out how to make it all, all work somehow together. Um, and for me personally, I've really had, uh, despite the challenges, a, a, sense, a real sense of liberation from some of the structures and habits that, that tend to hold back new ideas sometimes. But all bets are off and we're just trying our best together to make through. There's been so many different challenges, um, but the spirit of change and adaptation is actually really what City Lab is about at, at its heart. Um, we're trying to shake things up a little bit. We're trying to get young people involved in new ways in our city. And we're trying to do some things in new ways, um, some of which will fail inevitably. So it's the pandemic has really forced us to simply do our best in difficult circumstances. And I think to be a little bit less afraid of failure too, which is a really good thing. I can guess that every project here has definitely had moments of failure. I'm guessing that students and staff learned a lot more from these failures than they did if they'd done nothing or if everything went perfectly according to plan. Uh, so I want to congratulate everybody today who didn't know for sure that something would work out perfectly. Uh, but you tried it anyway, and you experienced or, the, or at the very least risked some failure. Um, our city is, is, of course, further ahead because of you. So thank you. I want to give you a couple of different stats uh, from our um, from our last semester. So. Uh, we had 18 projects this semester with some of their sort of smaller groups taking on chunks of those different projects within groups. Uh, we had 11 instructors involved from three institutions, 15 staff members, and 346 students. Um, this adds to our total from the beginning since 2017 of 124 projects 
with 63 instructors, 83 staff, and 2,234 students. So getting bigger and bigger every year. Um, last summer, we calculated the uh, rough estimate of the number of student hours uh, contributing to different projects, and we were just over, we we're just under 40,000 student hours dedicated to moving the city's strategic priorities forward. So we're looking forward to, to moving past that uh, when we are able to calculate all the time at the end of uh, this semester. Um, so many projects, of course, this semester focus specifically on, on COVID-19, as, uh, as you would expect. Um, including the sort of questions of how do we how can we improve communications between families and their loved ones who are living in long-term care centers? Um, how do we improve free public Wi-Fi at the libraries and lessen the digital divide? And how do we make sure people have access to outdoor spaces during the pandemic and beyond? Now, there's a huge range of other projects as well, touching on um, many different areas within the city and of, of particular academic interest. So you can browse all those different projects today based on their linkage to the city's strategic priorities. Um, and there's a, a ton of really amazing work and we're really, really glad that you've joined us today. Um, so um, since the beginning of, of, the, uh, of, of City Lab, we've had a, a really strong champion in our, in our mayor, Fred Eisenberger, um, and we're, we're lucky to have him join us. Uh, he, I'm not sure if he's sort of on yet. We are having a bit of trouble getting him, uh, getting him logged on, but he's, uh, he's waiting in the wings uh, at some point and I think that if he's he's probably not joining us just yet. So um, when we have a chance to loop him in, we're gonna we're gonna cut back to the stage, and he's gonna give us some welcoming, uh, sort of an official welcome from uh, from the mayor. Um, so I'm gonna assume he's not on yet. Okay, great. So um, we'll get back to him at some point. Um, so if you haven't already, then you can check out the intro video that Juliana created on the reception tab on the left side of the screen. And she go, walks through a little bit how to navigate the site. Um, Juliana has been really tirelessly working on this project showcase for a few months now. She only joined us uh, at the end of August and you know, coming into a, a new workplace and not being able to meet your colleagues in person has been an interesting struggle, but she's jumped into the into the challenge of it and just done a fantastic job with this event and with all sorts of other things around city lab so we're just really really lucky to have her um, and please express your thanks to her in, in the chat or if you get a chance to chat with her at some point um, so please uh, please dive in visit the project booths by clicking on the expo tab on the left you can watch three minute videos that students have prepared uh, for each project and you can check out their infographics as well uh, and and don't be afraid to engage in in the in the chat in the booth or in the event um, we, it's really nice for students to hear from you. Um, so let them know that you're there and that you've enjoyed their work. Uh, tell them what you think about it. Um, you can send, you can also send private messages to, to anyone. Uh, so don't be shy. You can, you can have sort of side conversations as well. Um, and if you have any questions, of course, Juliana and I are here to help. Um, so thanks again, uh, for joining us today and it's, uh, you know, welcome to our first virtual project showcase and enjoy. Thanks everybody.